Greetings and salutations, my name is GW608, and today I am playing Star Maid. And we are back with the uh, freighter. Keep wanting to call it the Ice Queen, but it's the Ice Queen as well, we'll just call it the Ice Queen. Alright, anyway, I am back at the freighter, and we need to design a door. How are we going to design this door? Hmm... How, and also probably some, like, landing gear, but that's for not right now. What do you say we put the rail here? So let's do this one as a counterclockwise so it'll fling upwards. Alright, so let's uh, create docking here. Put the core here, and let's adjust it so it's looking forward. All right, and it's going to fling upwards. All right. Uh, not exactly what I wanted, but it's what we got. All right, so let's let's just do some makeshift controls. These are not the actual controls. They are they are false. Oh, no, let's actually build an actual control circuit. We're going to use this spot here for the control circuit. And we're going to grab um, some of this. Um, flip-flop. That's not a flip-flop, that's an and. A knot and a flip-flop. Knot goes in, or the flip flop goes into a knot and one of the buttons, and the knot goes into the other button, and both buttons control that. Uh, where am I? And that button controls that. All right, and I am going to get me some temporary buttons here. Uh, I don't want those to be controlled by anything. And we are going to set this one to toggle that on, or the logic on and off. And we are going to set this one to to override the flip-flop. Alright, so. And you want to go counterclockwise and want to go clockwise. Okay. That one's going clockwise, this one's going counterclockwise. Uh, let's do this one clockwise and this one counterclockwise. That's not counterclockwise. That is also not counterclockwise. There we go. In fact, let's just tie this straight to that. Okay, so that should do better. And let's see here. Let's uh, do clockwise, uh, clockwise, and counterclockwise. So when I press this, that should spin. Why are we not spinning? We are distinctly not spinning. There is no rotation here. All right, let's... I'm also not able to middle click into anything. What's going on? Uh, okay. Why can't I middle click? Why does it think I can put things here? These are all questions. Oh, uh, where am I? That's in the airlock. That's... Something ain't right about this, because that is not in the airlock. Okay, we are going to exit to main menu. And we're going to do that again. Something ain't right here. Spawn. Alright. And... Ah! That is not docked. Oh imbecile. Let me get rid of it. I triggered, I hit the flip-flop and I triggered 
Um, come on, where am I? I triggered these buttons before they were attached to those rail speed. Okay. When you get a logic that isn't attached to a rail, or isn't touching a rail, and it does a rail, it forces ejection. That's why I was experiencing that. That's why it wouldn't spin or anything. As you should see, it's flipping back and forth. Then I have direct control over it to flip back or forth. Again, let's have it rotate up. Create docking here. And we want like that. Okay. And I'll rotate and let's rotate her back down. Middle click here. All right. And let's have our pretend door. Uh, we're going to use uh, purple. Purple for pretend. So one, two, three, four, five. That's one, two, three, four, five. So now if we come here, should be able to hit this button. Oh, no. That's in the up position. So let's take it. There we go. Back. We could take this one more block up. Oh, well, good grief. I'm in a weird spot here. No, that's going to need to be like a wedge of some sort, isn't it? Even then, that's not going to let... Oh, it is. Okay, that is that's clearance. Okay. Hmm. And that goes 90 degrees up and down. That actually works. Okay. So, now that I see that it works, let's get rid of the... No, 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 no. Before we get rid of the pretend door, before I start going and causing things to flail and fall and falter and all that jazz, we are going to set up this logic in here. So, uh, we need an input button. Um, let's grab some logic here and here. I also need, um, this, this link to this button here. I also want it linked to this button so I can watch it. Yeah, oh, oh, it has to be adjacent. Okay, so I can't do that. As if recall, there's special properties of a button that's adjacent. It throws a a uh, button signal, or it throws a high pulse. So let's then see if we can get away with this small button here. So I don't have to route logic. And you control you. Ah, I can't get away with that. You mean you can't get away with that? Um, I was hoping this was an LOD object so it didn't um, take up space and I could rotate around it, but it's not an LOD object. Well, it is an LOD object. As you can see, as I move out, it turns into a full block, so it, the system thinks it's a full block, I guess, for um, rotational sake. All right, so uh, we're going to call this, or we're going to grab some display modules. And then we're going to call this uh, forward and aft. Um, which one's open and which one's closed? Forward is going to be open, aft is going to be closed. Open. Open and closed. Actually, let's check that. Uh, we are closed, and it is aft. All right. We hit this button again, and the door rotates downward, so it's open. All right. Uh, we're going to hit this for... or Cancel. Over here, we're going to put the... Uh, uh, hold 
door, or cargo hold door. Rotation uh, blocks. And we're just going to put, I remember I need three of these. You can go away. One, two, and two and three and we will wire those up later because right now i want simple 90 degrees so i don't if anything goes weird it doesn't go weird like bad weird and we're gonna need a another um flip-flop and we're gonna tie this button into it So, I really want that to be a flip-flop. Uh, yeah, I want that to be a flip-flop, but I want it to be back here. All right, so let's grab that. I'm thinking, I'm a-thinking. It might take me a minute. Thinking is not my strong suit. Okay. So that's going to trigger on or off. Well, let's, let's redesign this out here. So if we hit the button, it throws a pulse and Oh, it throws a pulse when it stops moving. Oh, that's what I'm getting confused at. It's throwing a pulse when it stops moving. Okay, you know what? We might not need this circuit. Huh. I'm thinking of ways to control the door controls. Let's do this here. Will that allow me to still rotate up and down? Yeah. In fact, that should allow me to rotate down to where it needs to go. All right. So we have some basic door controls, open and close, not the full open and close, you know, enough. That doesn't need to exist. It's all this. Oh, oh, that, well, this is... Let me label this. Red. Not read. Alert. Lockdown. All right. So that's red alert and lockdown. This is the door stuff, or whole door stuff. Or, or not gargo. Not gargo, cargo hold door. All right. So this is the door logic over here. This is the red alert logic. This is the airlock logic. No, that's not airlock. This is hall door. Hallway door. I've gone from not commenting anything to commenting all the things. I'm like a madman who just got a... um. Label maker. Anyway, I delete that block. Hey, I can delete. Oh, I can't delete that one though. Okay. That one can stay. <laughs> I think that one must stay. Must stay. Um, but I'm getting off track. So we have it come up and down. Now, what I want is you cannot press this button while the door is in motion. Because if you can. If you, yeah, if you get it enough, I can get the door off, off its axis. And that is, uh, not good. Okay. There we go, see? Then I can use these to manually control, um, I'll have to manually reset it. But once I get everything set up, it, I'm not going to have this ability to manually reset unless I do something funny with the... With the um, 
internal logic. All right. So we have the basic cargo hold door logic installed. Now I need to devise a system to get it to work properly. And that's going to be fun. Or to get it to not allow me to hit the button again. In fact, I want this button to not control that anymore. I want it to control that. And that will go there. So this is going to be the main input for the cargo hold door. All right. Anyway, I know that's a, a slight distinction, but it is an important one. Anywho, I have been JW608, this has been StarMade, and I will dig you cats later. It's a really weird asymmetric looking door. I guess I don't really want one going into the hallway, or do I? I don't know. We'll see. I'll dig you later.